How's it going YouTube? Tim here and today I'm going to show you another tutorial on how to make a good structure for your game. Um, so let's, let's get right into it. Uh, you may have seen um, one of my tutorials on how to use script arguments and there's also a tutorial on how to use the switch statement. I recommend you uh, take a look at both of them. Uh, the switch statement is going to be important for actually building the structure and the script arguments, well, um, that tutorial in specific will help you further down the line. So let's get right into it here. Um, we're create two sprites, um, just you know, for testing purposes. If you'd like, you you may follow along here. I want to go really quick. But we got sprite enemy and sprite enemy two. They're the exact same sprite, just one's one and one's two, and they're the same color, or uh, not the same color. One's a different color, and that's the only difference between them. And uh, we also got object enemy and object enemy two. Um, so object enemy and sprite enemy are the same, object enemy 2 and sprite enemy 2 are the same. So what I'm going to do is show you how to uh, make a good structure using scripts. Now some people they will make, you know, let's say you got 50 different objects and let's say 20 of those objects are enemies and they all use the same kind of features, you know, such as the health system and whatnot. Um, you might even have you know how hard they hit you as far as damage and stuff like that well see the thing is instead of copying your code and pasting it in different different objects you know just make a script that can handle all of your objects in one script you know why waste your time I mean building a good structure will save you a lot of time in the long run you know versus you know finding the object you need to work on finding the event and finding the code that it's in just make a script and all you have to do is double click on the script find the code and edit it and that's it simple as that so the first thing we're gonna do here before we do anything is we're gonna create two scripts here we're gonna do uh... let's do script create and we're gonna make another one and we're gonna do script draw Alright, so then go into your two objects here. We have two two enemies here. They're basically the same thing, just different color, but they're going to use the same scripts here. So we're going to do a create event here, and we're going to do a draw event here. Now what you have to do first is um, you have to drag your executed code in here, and we got to call the script to activate right away as soon as the enemy you know is in the game. So if an enemy is spawned, that's the script being called right there for each one. So it's not going to, you know, um, it's not going to handle all of them like that at the same exact time if you if that makes sense so anyway what we got the creative in here so let's call the script right away so script create as you see it turns orange um, that means that it's good and we're going to do the same thing for the draw event here so script draw alright um, now that's done now let's go into the green one here and do the same exact thing and we'll do script create and we're gonna do the draw event right now drag in the code script draw there now we're done with that anyway so um, next uh, if you haven't already just put the two objects in the room side by side so I can show you what the difference is now, um, for this uh, fake, you know, tutorial scenario, you know, let's just say that um, object enemy, the red one, has more health than the green one. Well, instead of going into this one and changing the health, and then going into this one and changing the health, how about we just go into just this one and determine that? That would be a lot easier. We can change two. We can ch change two different things, you know, with one script. Alright, so this is where the switch statement comes in. So, since the two enemies are already in the room, that means as soon as the game starts, this uh, create event is going to be calling this script right away. So, we're going to use a switch statement. We are going to actually uh, switch the sprite index. That is how we're going to determine. So, if you haven't seen my tutorial on the switch statement, I recommend you watch it now. Otherwise, this may look a little confusing for some of you beginners. So, anyway, we're going to do switch sprite index. And we're going to do case um, sprite enemy break. And we're going to do case sprite enemy two break and close the bracket off. Okay, so 
what this is doing is basically it's saying that um, since this script is being called in every object it's basically going to say okay so um, if the sprite index of the object calling it is whatever's here so in this case if if this object is calling the sprite of sp sprite enemy which is this the red one then it's going to execute that code if we put code in here that means that every object or object enemy 2 that spawn that has a green sprite index of sprite enemy 2 that's the code that's going to be called so anyway so let's say the um, like I was saying earlier the red object um, object enemy 1 is going to have more health than the other one so we'll do e health equals 100 and down here we'll do e health equals 50 okay so we're saying that the red one has 100 health, the green one has 50. And the only reason we can spread them apart is because we're using the sprite index to determine which object is which. Alright, so the create event's done. Now, we could have went into object, create event, typed in e health here, and then closed it, went into this one, create event, e health. That's too much work. I just did it all right here, no problem. Once you build this switch statement, all you have to do is fill in the internals right there that's about it that's all you have to do so now so now anyway we still got the script draw here we're gonna do the same thing we're gonna do switch sprite index and we're gonna do case sprite enemy break case sprite enemy two break and close the bracket okay so anyway um, if you're not a beginner, or maybe you are a beginner and you already know this, but um, um, if an object already has a sprite, you have to use draw self. Otherwise, whatever you're trying to draw will draw without the sprite being there. So, um, in this case, uh, our first object here, object enemy, does have a sprite. The sprite of it is sprite enemy of just sprite enemy. Second one is sprite enemy too. So, since it has a sprite, we're going to do draw self. we're going to do draw text. So we're going to do draw text and we're going to do x and y minus 32 so it appears above and we're going to string e health. Okay and all we have to do is copy this code here because we're going to do the same thing. There. So what we did so far is in the create event we established which object has what health and in the draw event we established which object is going to draw which health so if the red enemy has a hundred health then the red enemy should say 100 health above its head if the green one has 50 the green one should say 50 above the green one's head easy as that we're just determining that using the sprite index so now if you wanted to if you had a step event you would add a script step go inside the objects add the step event call it there and then Basically, this script folder here is all you're going to need for your games, mostly. I mean, of course, there's little things you won't need, but um, you'll just kind of get it as you go. So anyway, let's run the game really quick and make sure it works. And if we did this right, the red one should say 100, the green one should say 50. There you go, right there. We just used two scripts to do the enemy's health and to determine what does what. Now, if you want to see some more tutorials on this, Please comment, you know, leave me a like, leave me a message, you know, do whatever you can. Um, I will try and do some more tutorials for you guys. I'm going to do a spawn system tutorial next. It's going to be a little more advanced than my last one. And I really hope I was able to help you guys. Thank you.